Hi y'all, welcome back to l and Honey Come Homestead. If you're wondering where I'm at, I'm out here getting my water for my baby chicks. Well, not babies, but there are my babies. Chickens and collecting the eggs that I have here. And if you wanna see what I got going on you. So yes, here are the eggs that I collected today. As you can see, I got five eggs and they're doing a little grand entrance for y'all. And I'm out here so I can get their water. Yep, so this is what I do on a scale of every day. They lay me uh, beautiful eggs so I don't have to go to the store and get them. So let me come up out of here so they won't get too excited on me. Okay, sorry for the camera and all that movement, but yes, yeah, so I'm out here on the homestead, getting my eggs, fed my dog, my lips are white, because it's cold, and got to give him some water and everything, and I want to let you see why it is so good to have a sink out here <laughs> yes, a sink. I'm going to show you. You see my little sink, y'all. It collects my water down here in the bucket. I got a water hose. And here's my sink that I got on Marketplace for $5. And this comes very handy. Very handy. It comes very handy for me. So I'll be able to give my animals their water and all that good stuff. And so, I'll show you what else I do in a day's work. And the other thing that I do is come out here. And when I came out here, it was cardboard everywhere because I had it in my walkways. I wet them down, but I needed to get my stones to put them out in place in each corner so that way they won't fly up. Because with my cardboard, that's what's going to keep the weeds away. But it got too cold, it was raining, and I couldn't get out here. So today, the third day of Vlogmas, I'm out here and I just did that. And this is what I will show you. So in each corner, as you can see, I have my pieces of rocks, little rocks, stones, whatever you want to call them on each corner of my beds. Now, I have some other stones that I will be putting in that place, but this will work for now. This will work, okay? So like I said, I was in my videos and I was getting everything ready for the spring. So this is still going on on Vlogmas. Hey, a gardener's job is never done. A gardener's job is never done so I still got leaves that I have to bring over here and I will show you that here in a sec but um, I'm steady filling my beds up getting them ready getting my compost and all that stuff putting these in the beds let it break down over time so that way it can be some nice rich soil where all I have to do is get ready to plant my spring crops Okay, so as you can see, I got stones in each corner. Now that I got it in each stone corner, this is the next project that I'm going to do today. This leaf pile that I put over here is gonna go over there into that compost bin that I was telling you about. And I have more leaves and sticks that I have to get together and put them in my little trash can that I have put together for my compost bin as well. I got a little trash can. So in the meantime, that's what I'm going to be working on. This pile, getting them in those totes or I mean trash cans and take them over there to the compost bin. And that's what I will be doing today. So I'm in another area. Oh, my lips are white and I gotta get some more Vaseline. 
So I'm in another area of the garden, <clears throat> of the yard. It's my other garden. And um, I am growing some lettuce and things as well. They're coming up pretty good. I have a net over it because we still have these two little squirrels that like to get in my garden. Heckle and Jekyll. Yes, Heckle and Jekyll. You heard me right. I named them. Okay. There's something else in the summer and spring, all the months, okay? Right now, they're all over the place because they're after these pecans that this tree has dropped. Pecans. I have collected some myself um, so I can do something with those pecans. But in the meantime, I'm going to learn how to make a pecan pie. So maybe with the pecans that I've collect, I can make some pecan pie for the holidays. We'll see on that on another video. We'll see what we can do. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you. This is my lettuce. <clears throat> this is my lettuce. So this was going on there. I got lettuce sprouting, as you can see. I have kale. I have spinach. I have all those things. And as you see, here, I got this little net here. It's really like a little fence, a plastic fence. But I put that over it so that way I won't have to deal with heckle and jekyll. And the same goes for over here. I have the same thing. I have some little sprouts popping up. As you can see, they had been in my bed. So I'm going to have to take these little pink seeds and push them down, down off in here. So that way they can germinate as well. And But other than that we'll just see how things go um here's some purple kale as well and everything and then i will be able to uh separate them and space them out a little bit but um last year i really just didn't do a whole lot of spacing they all came up in a little bunch like this and they were really really it was a whole lot but um yeah I'll probably get, I'm going to get some more. I'm putting some more out anyway, just in case these don't do. But they seem like they're doing pretty good to me. But um, I'll use this fencing as a space guide for me. Okay. And then on the other part of the garden as well, I'm going to still be using tires. So I'm still bringing my tires here on the other side of the yard. And... Uh, and this is what it's looking like and i'm planning on filling this whole entire bed this whole side of this yard up with those tires here's another bed i made um as well i have um some radishes and beets in there and um let's see i got i got a little sprout that one germinated let's see and we got another one right there as well too and right here so those are doing pretty good i guess you know it's a process and it's a work in progress but uh i just i'm doing an experiment you know but um but yeah this is what's going on on this side of the garden i will be growing a whole lot of uh winter crops as far as for next year fall crops a lot of that stuff can come over here because this is going to be the cool side the cool season side the shady side the crops that like shade and sun at the same time the other part of my garden is in the middle of the garden i have a lot of herbs that i grew over here and everything i got medicinal plants i got all that stuff over here in the front of my honeycomb that also will be another uh project for next year i'm going to take that and turn that into a little cottage and it's going to be like a little miniature store where i have all my canning and all my bread and all that good stuff wood stove all that stuff is going to go in there and it's going to be like a little cottage so that project is on the making as well too i have some videos that i have uh done but i have not uploaded them yet but i will so y'all will see what's going on and i will show you what that looks like so as you can see this is my little honeycomb and this will be the l l honeycomb mini store or cottage if y'all got a good name because i want it to be like a little store if y'all have a name, let's see what we can come up with. It's got to have the honeycomb name in it, y'all. 
Because you see the windows at the top? Those look just like little honeycombs, don't they? So we got to keep the thing going. I love my little bees. I got collect a lot of honeybees as far as little figurines, little canisters and stuff like that. And that will go inside. And I will show you what I've done. So, you know, that'll be another video. So I know I want y'all to see. I want you to see. I really do. But I want it to be a surprise. So in the meantime, we go through this little gate here. And um, I did a lot of herbs in these beds as well. And I'm going uh, to clean them up some more. And I got to pick up around in here because I was doing a lot of cleaning inside the honeycomb. So I have a lot of that sitting out here that I threw out. I threw a lot of stuff out. But, um, yeah, this will be cleaned up and be ready for the spring so my flowers can grow. I had flowers in here. I have pompous grass in those pots. And um, I will be moving them to another location. Got some cute little chairs and stuff from yard sales and everything like that. So, yeah, it's going to be looking really nice with the flowers and everything. When I get done, it was nice last year, and I want it to look good this year. I have here some lamb's ears. In case y'all don't know, look it up. Lamb's ears are a good medical source for you as well. We will get into that in another video with herbal plants and flowers that is good for you. Okay? But this here are the beds that I use to do my herbs, lettuces, and all that good stuff. So I will be cleaning those out. I got a lot of those tomato plants, uh, cages over here. So, yep, yeah, it's still a work in progress, but I'm still working on it. And I really don't have that much to do now because I did a majority of that before it got actually real, real cold. But I still will make my way out here. I still have some trellises that I got to build up for my green beans and everything like that. And I will show... Um, uh, which you can use around the house and not spend a whole lot of money in doing that as well. It could be just things around the house. So that's what I have over there. And like I said, I got a compost bin over here. I have my chickens over here. And um, if you don't have the money and if you have a dog house or anything like that, dog kennel, I seen this off on Pinterest where people would get their dog kennels. They would get some, um, what you call it, some cinder blocks, some um, pallets, and just built them a coop just like that, square it off. And I'll talk about that on another video so that way you can see that I have a lot of videos that can come to you with. You know, I didn't do a whole lot of videos because I did not know really what to say, how I would say it, um, and how it would look. But then I just said, you know what, forget it. I'm just going to turn the camera on. What comes on my mind, it comes. I got a lot of things that run through my mind. And with y'all helping me and being on my channel, I really do appreciate that very, very much that y'all give me ideas, even sending me emails, and I really do appreciate it. So I don't take all the credit to myself. I sit here and learn, and I research, and I try to find out what ways that are self-sufficient uh, as far as what you got around the house and budget friendly, because that's what I am, or what you can use around you to make or to have to even start a garden and it's wonderful so yes i have these tires i will be painting these tires okay because i do want colorful and make it pretty and bright i have a viewer soil the uh soul homestead y'all check them out they just coming out um starting their homestead right there in their yard till they're able to get some land but um they've planted a whole lot of beautiful fruit trees soil to the soul homestead check them out okay and check out uh the other ones um i'll give you another one um check out homestead heart okay um homestead heart is a good one um shout out to her she's got a lot of viewers y'all she's got a lot of them and she's taught me a lot um, by just watching her videos, I've learned a lot on her channel, a lot on her channel. And um, also, check out Bamit. 
His name is Bamet. I think Mr. Arthur Homestead. Check him out. Um, there's another one. Oh, yes. And I want to also, before I go into telling you more of the homestead of people that I follow, um, I want to give a shout out and thank everybody, the new subscribers that came to my channel. I want to thank Kelly. Thank you, Kelly, for subscribing to my channel. I want to thank you very much for that. Thank you, Mr. Bamet, for subscribing to my channel. Hey, and I want to, um, there's another uh, uh, family that I'm, I'm going to have my list so I can give thanks to everybody that showed me love because there's a lot and I didn't realize I was going to have these many people that came to my channel. It was really a surprise. I might not have over a thousand some viewers, but I tell you what, these 200 and some people, right? I appreciate y'all sticking with me. I really do. And I'm just hoping to grow my channel and come with some more content. So y'all hang in tight with me. This is new for me and I'm sure it's new for you. And hey, we got to work together and get this going, okay? Being self-sufficient. So I will be um, putting on my list because I'm still writing down people's names. And I want to make sure I have everybody's name right. So I do want to thank you for coming and showing love to my channel. Okay, L and L Honeycomb is very happy about it. Really, we are really happy. So thank you for subscribing, the new subscribers. I want to thank my old subscribers for sticking in with me. I don't want to call you old. I want to call all y'all my honeybees because that's what y'all are, my honeybees. Because we all come right in the middle. We all come together and work on this homestead together. So I just want to thank everybody for showing love and everything. So as you saw i was walking through here i was showing you little clips of what i've been doing out here what i got on my mind as far as growing hey y'all need to get out here and grow i don't care if you got a balcony you could do it in your house okay if you got some pots or something buckets um totes hey start watching some of my videos watch some other videos showing you how to you know how you can get some soil homemade god's own earth soil okay to start your garden okay where well, you ain't got to spend all that money out check out my videos look on in there and then i'll show you there's some things in there that you can have that you can use that you can start to get your garden going hey they will get your food and they'll take it away from you and i'll tell you where i got that from okay there's another there's another homesteader out here okay that's out here that's um really good as far as his content and telling you things you know what i'm saying i'm gonna get all those and i'm gonna put them all down for you okay i'm gonna write it all down and y'all have a paper next time pen next time and i'm gonna tell you the homesteaders that i follow okay so that way you'll know so y'all can learn like i learned hey i didn't i didn't know how to do all this stuff i did not know how to do all this stuff you got to read, you got to study, you got to research, okay, y'all? We got to get together and do this. So in the meantime, okay, y'all get out here, love one another, quit hating on each other, and grow food, have your chickens, look on your coordinate ordinates in the city you're at. Look in the ordinates, okay? Y'all can have some chickens, okay? put them up in the cage don't let them out so nobody can uh run over them and do all that stuff just read your ordinance in the city that you are that you were in okay i didn't think i could but i read them ordinance baby that's why i said y'all need to do your research His eggs are too high out here that's why i got them eggs from them chickens okay it's just too high out here and it feels good not to go to the store and get them eggs okay I got eggs right here at my homestead, at my home, okay? Same with bread. I ain't got to go to the store and get that. There's a lot of things I don't have to go get from the store now. Y'all need to be self-sufficient, okay? So I'm not going to keep drawing out with this. It's been already um, almost 20 minutes in. Uh, I've been making these videos kind of short because some of y'all don't like those long videos. Oh, my God. Mm-mm. Hands ashy and everything. Because it's cold out here, and I need to go back in. But I wanted to talk to y'all. Y'all my honeybees. So in the meantime, this is part three of Vlogmas. 
Y'all stay tuned. Thank you for coming to LNL Honeycomb Homestead, and y'all have a blessed day. Bye.